Thank you, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Welcome everyone here. Uh, I've said a few words in uh, the indigenous language of this territory. That's a little different. Uh, what that means is welcome. Christine can tell you what that means. It's a very complex word with a lot of Im imagery, but uh, long story short, it means uh, indigenous and then just real people uh, of this territory. Uh, the story of the Irish migration is one of courage. Uh, it's one of great sacrifice of a people that left a country with nothing. As Ireland emptied, Montreal in the span of two years doubled, literally. Uh, went from about 50,000 to roughly 100,000 based on the, the great Irish famine which was difficult to talk to both and talk about both in Ireland and in Canada but for the last decade or more we've been talking about it and recognizing it. Uh, the reason why Quebec has uh, to some accounts a quarter of its DNA being Irish is based on this mass there was both pre-famine but mostly during this great movement of people uh, and, and the lessons for today uh, are very important particularly for the political elites including myself uh, I don't like calling myself an elite. Andrew Shear loves to call me that. Uh, the great lesson for that today is, is about courage. Courage of the people that left with nothing uh, and came to this country and were welcomed by people, welcomed by people despite, in some circumstances, popular dissent about a lower class coming here, a lower quality of people coming here. But some people stood up, including the mayor of Montreal at the time, who laid down his life, who suffered, who died from the disease. Uh, several orders of nuns who laid down their lives, and we, we talk a lot about women these days, but women built this city, uh, and the gray nuns in particular laid down their lives for this city. We're facing today and throughout the world one of the largest mass migrations since the Second World War. Uh, and Canada is uniquely suited to deal with it. Uh, but it takes courage. It takes courage from the political class when sometimes uh, the right thing is not the popular thing. And building this country took a lot of right decisions that may not have been unpopular, might not have been as popular at the time and may not be popular today when we face a number of people uh, leaving very little and looking for refugee status in this country. And for the sake of those who lie under us and for the sake of future generations, we must always remember the compassion and openness that is Canada, that is Quebec. And I'm proud to be someone that represents that along with the people to the right of me. So thank you very much. Lord Mayor, thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for bringing the weather. Mayor Plant, I'm not asking you to lay down your life, but I, 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 I you know, there's a lot of work to do, and uh, a lot of people, particularly of Irish descent, that'll haul us out for account. Um, but we're going to have something beautiful in what is now a parking lot. The folks from Hydro Quebec have a great role to play in that, and uh, I want to, I want to salute everyone's courage in pushing this forward. A lot of people have spent over two decades doing this, so thank you very much.